Fortnite's brand new bonus rewards and legacy styles just got fully revealed, coming in Fortnite's new update along with all the upcoming collaborations, brand new free rewards, and everything you guys need to know in Fortnite's 28.10 update. And if you guys still need the Chapter 5 Battle Pass or any of the skins in the Fortnite item shop, we do send a gift in every single video. All you have to do to be gifted is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and leave your epic usernames down in the comment section below. Also, a massive shout out to to everyone using code NERP2 in the Fortnite shop. You guys make all the giveaways and videos possible, so thank you so much for all the support. It really helps me out. But after a month of no updates and nothing new here in Fortnite Battle Royale, it was confirmed by data miners and also Epic themselves that the 28.10 update is going to be dropping this upcoming Tuesday on January 23rd, and our normal every two week update schedule is going to be returning now that Epic Games is finally back from winter break. And like I said, we're going to be showing you guys everything in new in this update in today's video and firstly i wanted to start off with some of the new bonus rewards and super styles that are going to be unlockable once this update drops in the next five days so as you guys can see the first legacy style here is actually a new golden version of the peter griffin skin his skin is actually the one that is going to be receiving a lot of these bonus styles since he is the tier 100 skin for this season and personally i think this type of reflective hollow gold is a lot cooler than the version that we actually have in game right now, which is why I think they're going to be adding a new version. The second one, and personally my favorite of the three here, is actually known as the Phase Legacy Style, which again has like that hollow reflective design to it. Personally, I think it looks really, really good. It stands out, it's very unique, and I think it's really cool to get away from that traditional gold feel that we've seen in a lot of past seasons. Now, for the third Legacy Style, we actually have the Cosmic, which is literally a galaxy version of Peter Griffin, and this is definitely a close second out of all these new styles but again it's really really cool my favorite part about this is the fact that even his sunglasses have like that galaxy look to him so it literally looks like he's just looking off into a space and overall I think all of these designs are really really cool and just so you guys are aware you do need to own the battle pass in order to unlock these new styles and you will need to reach level 200 in order to get all seven pages of the bonus rewards so if you guys are not ranking up quick enough make sure to go search up some XP glitch we do have some here on the channel that you guys can watch and they'll definitely help you reach level 200 now for those of you guys that do not own the chapter 5 battle pass and are not able to unlock the new bonus styles and super styles for some of those skins there is actually going to be a free skin that all of you guys can unlock that is most likely going to be getting added in this new update as well and that free skin is known as the elite archetype which we've actually covered here multiple weeks ago because this has been in the fortnite files for over a month but the reason we know this will be a free reward is because the entire month it has been in the files it has not once had an item shop source code which means it will be a free reward a part of an upcoming promotion and interestingly enough there was also two other cosmetics found that did not have item shop source codes which as you guys can see the first one is known as the bashasaurus pickaxe and the second which again is another harvesting tool is actually known as the lemmy pickaxe just like the elite archetype both of these do not have item shop source tags and they actually do have Nintendo source tags which has a lot of people thinking that in Fortnite's new updates there's also going to be a new collaboration and promotion between Fortnite and Nintendo Switch which is really good news for all of you Switch players out there because these are most likely going to be free rewards that you guys can probably just claim in the item shop. So of course there is a possibility that maybe Fortnite does release the Elite Archetype skin as a Nintendo exclusive skin as well especially because the Double Helix skin which is another version of the archetype was also the first ever Nintendo Switch exclusive cosmetic that you were able to unlock years ago when Fortnite and Nintendo Switch first initially collabed. Now, the other possibility for unlocking the Elite archetype would be a new Refer a Friend event since the last one just ended a few weeks ago, but typically Fortnite will give a few month gap between these events before they start another one, so we'll really just have to wait and see on what Fortnite ends up doing with this skin. Hopefully it's not scrapped and hopefully it's it's a very easy and accessible skin that everyone can unlock for free. And while we're on the topic of Fortnite collaborations, we are going to have a dedicated video covering all the upcoming collabs in the next few seasons, so make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for that. But we do have some good news and bad news regarding collaborations coming in Fortnite's update later next week. And just to switch things up, I'm going to hit you guys with the bad news first, but make sure to stick around because there is good news about these collaborations. But the bad news is that 
the F1 collab that was actually found in the files. In case you guys missed it, there was actually going to be 10 brand new skins coming out that were customizable with tons of different styles and things that you were able to add to them. And along with this, there was just a bunch of really cool F1 themed cosmetics, which were planned to release in game. And it was also going to be a cross promotion between Battle Royale and also Fortnite's Rocket League Racing, which is a somewhat popular mode too. But after multiple weeks of these cosmetics being in Fortnite's files, they actually ended up getting removed recently, which basically confirms that Fortnite either scrapped it or they're going to be revamping all these cosmetics before they're released in their new updates. But a lot of people are thinking that Fortnite ended up scrapping them, but that leads us to the reason why. And that is also part of the good news and that is because Fortnite also already has another car collaboration lined up between Fortnite and Ferrari which I think at this point isn't really a surprise to anyone considering we just got a Lamborghini collaboration it makes sense that Fortnite is hopping to another brand that is a direct competitor with Lamborghini and that would be Ferrari it was found in Fortnite's files by data miners that Fortnite is working on a Ferrari 458 and also a rally car known as the Citroen C3 R5 both of these had engine audio settings added to the files in chapter 5 and they have recently been getting updated which means Fortnite is actively working on adding these vehicles for rocket racing they'll probably come out as bundles in the item shop and in case you guys were unaware Fortnite has already done a Ferrari collab in the past years ago but this was way before Fortnite and cars were even a thing so back then it was only a cosmetic collab where you were able to purchase skins in the shop so there is a good chance that along with a Ferrari bundle we may very well be getting some new updated Ferrari skins and hopefully something that kind of replaces the F1 skins that most likely got scrapped. Now, the final part of this update that is 100% guaranteed is actually some new gameplay mechanics and features regarding the weapon mods, which is something that is brand new to us here in Fortnite Chapter 5. It was found by data miner Wenzo, who is a very reliable source of information, and tweeted saying Epic is working on a new type of weapon mod named Amps. They currently include the following, fire bullets, which will light surfaces hit by them on fire. We have bullets that will give stamina per hit, which is something that we've never seen before. Automatic fire which will allow you to turn semi-auto weapons automatic which could be very powerful depending on the gun and finally we also have crit damage multipliers for certain weapons depending on if you hit headshots body shots and so on and so forth and on top of this entire new category we also have four new weapon mods that will be available on weapons for you to randomly find and also at the upgrade bench but we have a muzzle breach the long barrel the fire barrel and finally the triple barrel which is one of the ones I'm very excited to see how it actually works but of course, with all that being said, that is all we got for you guys in today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new, and let me know down below out of everything we covered coming into Fortnite's next big update. What are you guys most excited for? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know your guys' feedback. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.